Sarah, I love the way you did that. Before you spoke a word, we sat here and just looked at people. It caught our attention and I thought it gave a great deal of depth to what you're saying. I've been a Toastmaster for a number of years, on and off, at various clubs. And you know what surprises me? You can come through something like this after all of these years, and you can still learn something. And Sarah, I've only seen you like Toastmasters for a couple of months. And I'm thinking to myself, oh my God, I want to be able to speak like her. Three, three things especially beyond the, that look at the beginning that I will remember and I will watch Alex's video afterwards to remind myself because I, I aspire to these three aspects of your speech. Your gestures. I loved your gestures. They were just great. I just... I don't know if I've ever seen anybody do better gestures than you. They were flamboyant but not too flamboyant. They were sometimes subtle. You're quiet. You did this. Good. Dude. Confidence. The next one. That I really like. Your I have a dream will go away from time to time. Not even a little bit of yelling. No, no, no. Not, a, not a just raise my voice. We gave a shocking fact. I love it. I think I was standing right in front of the great man himself. Martin Luther King, when you were saying this. Something else that I'm even feeling right now is nervousness. And I'm sure some of you can actually detect it in me. I detected no nervousness. After I thought of that as being one of the great things about your speech, I still couldn't find anything. I stopped and looked. You had nothing. Nothing at all. You didn't hold your hand. You didn't do anything. I have to give a couple of tips, even on such a great speech. And I hope that this is just a couple of little things that you can remember to help you along in the future. I sometimes felt that you were yelling. Yelling rather than projecting. If you simply think that you're speaking to somebody in the back of the room, you can speak more clearly and loudly without actually sounding like you're yelling. There's a big difference between speaking loud and projecting. Next one is, I think that if you would just glance at your notes from time to time without pausing and reading them, it would have given, it would have made it appear that you would prepare them. A couple times I thought maybe that's the first time you've actually read the speech. Other than that, I think that the folks in Ottawa should be emailing that video so that they can learn a few things from how you presented the political speech today. Thank you very much, Sarah. It was a wonderful.